This fig algorithm for implementing an HLS is the conditional histogram kernel. It is used as a benchmark to evaluate several dynamic schedulers and tools in the HLS area. Please have a look at the code to understand the array's access patterns and the irregularity of data accesses on the hist array. If we synthesize the code using Vitus HLS 2020.2, then the initiation interval of the for loop would be 8, and the total kernel latency is 8004. The question is, how can we improve the performance? Pause the video if you would like to give this problem a try, and when you are ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. With a small modification, we can slightly reduce the initiation interval. Here, we take out the array assignment from the if statement. Then, the resulted initiation interval would be 6, which makes the code 1.3 times faster. However, we need more improvement. Here, the goal is to modify the code such that the commercial available HLS tools such as Vitus HLS can efficiently synthesize the code. This is the original code structure. It contains a for loop that performs all the operations. During the operations, the for loop accesses three external arrays, f, w, and hist. Data access to the f and w arrays are sequential, but the access to the hist array is random, and the operation is a modification in place. This modification in place and random access to an external memory are the main reasons behind the high loop initiation interval. So, we try to cope with this bottleneck. Firstly, we split the for loop into two for loops. The first loop utilizes the internal memory to perform some calculations, and the second loop transfers the results to the external memory. The idea is to perform the random access locally inside the FPGA and provide sequential access to the external arrays. For this purpose, we define a set of local arrays to provide parallel random access in the first loop. This will alleviate the impact of the high loop initiation interval. Let's have a look at the code. Firstly, we define the local arrays. Here, I have defined a 2D array corresponding to the hist array. In this case, we can provide in parallel hardware threads to compensate for the negative impact of high initiation interval. M should be more than the loop initiation interval. Here, M is 10, which is greater than 8, the initiation interval of the original loop. Then we need to initialize the local arrays. After that is the for loop that performs the computational locally. Finally, we should transfer the results to the external memory. Now let's see the synthesis report. As can be seen, the initiation interval of the first and last loops are 1. The initiation interval of the middle loop is 6, but because we have 10 parallel threads, then the loop trip count is low, which reduces the total loop latency. And the kernel needs 2668 clock cycles to finish. Compared to the original code, the speed of factor is 3. You can find the link to the GitHub site containing the source codes below this video.